Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So today we will commence our post-DLC main story cleanup mission, I guess. And um, the first thing we need to do is we need to decide what to do with our organs. Our spine, brain and heart are waiting here for us and we can re-implant them and swap them out for the artificial organs. Now, story-wise, I actually wouldn't mind keeping the artificial organs. I kind of like the idea that Hera is part cyborg. And she does seem like the kind of person who would say, well, if the artificial ones are better than my um, natural organs, I'm going to keep the artificial ones. But apparently, uh, taking back the natural organs um, has some benefits as well. So I guess I will give it a try and I guess if I doesn't like the result I can just, you know, load the save that I just made and just uh, undo it. But I will give it a try and uh, see if I like my old organs better. But yeah, I guess I have to talk to the brain first because um, he's still waiting for... Nice to see you back. I trust the adventuring is going well. My final decision, right? I've thought it over and I want you back in my head. We are both stronger together. Right, um, I guess I want you back after all. I've come to a similar conclusion myself. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, I think I'm sure. All right, this shouldn't be too painful. <laughs> I hope so. You have lost the brainless perk. Okay. Big brain perk. Your brain is back in your body, but some of the advanced technologies remain. Your head still cannot be crippled, okay. But you are only 10% more resistant to addiction now. That isn't really a problem for me, because I'm not using any chems. Surprisingly, your damage thresh threshold has improved by 10% minimum plus 1 DT. Okay, so I guess this is better uh, in uh, all regards. Uh, I'm still... Uh, immune to crippling and the one perk that got decreased is one that I didn't really need to begin with. Okay, I guess um, this is actually a good exchange. And right, I have to use the autodoc to replace the rest of my organs. Let's do it. I trust matters regarding your brain were resolved to your satisfaction. Yes, I'm actually quite happy with it. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Um, all right. Swap body parts. Oh, apparently I can just switch between the artificial or the synthetic and the natural brain whenever I want. Okay, well, that's neat. But I guess I'm going to keep my normal brain. And yeah, let's uh, take back the heart as well. You've lost the heartless perk. Cardiac arrest perk. Your heart is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. You are less resistant to poison, 50%, and robots are only somewhat confused by you. 25% less likely to score a critical hit now. But on the bright side, healing items are twice as effective. Plus 50%. Okay. Um, I guess that's a decent trade-off. I honestly didn't realize that robots were confused by me. They were uh, apparently able to hit me just fine, so I think I'll take this perk. <laughs> oh, poor Muggy. If you're planning to stay a while, I could see clear to giving you a once over. Okay, I need to put back my spine. Rightly so, I should think. Um. And yeah, I can swap out the heart anytime I want to. That's actually pretty neat. You've lost the spineless perk. Reinforced spine perk. Your spine is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. Your torso can now be crippled again, but your strength and damage threshold bonuses have doubled. Plus two. Hmm. Huh. I'm pretty sure that's useful. And I mean, the crippling, okay, I mean, I can just take a stim pack to remedy the crippling. So yeah, I'll take this uh, perk as well. 
All right, I would say all things considered, um, the new perks are better than the old ones, so um, I'm going to keep my natural organs, although apparently there's still some technology in her body now, so she's still kind of uh, part cyborg, I guess, so uh, I, can, I can live with that. But okay, um, now that we've done that, um, we need to go out again and explore. So obviously we have a number of places I haven't been to yet and we also have a few places where um, I need to go to again, for example uh, the internment camp and um, right, the X8 research center because um, I still have like the key to the kennels. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Let's maybe start with this one. So I will head out, move to this point, and then I will start to check off all the other places. And as I mentioned previous episode, I will shorten this a little bit and basically cut out all the traveling in between these places because I feel that this makes up like half of the Let's Play in this DLC. And it's not really that interesting because it's always the same like three or four types of enemies again and I'm pretty sure you've seen enough of that. So basically um, this is going to be a heavily edited episode and I'm only going to show the actual places. Right, um, I have already cleaned out my inventory as much as I dared to so hopefully I can pick up all the loot um, that I find on my little round trip here and I guess off we go. Do we have do we have um, Roboscopians? We no. haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. I mean, I kind of hope that the Roboscopians are not going to respawn now that we have dealt with Dr. Mobius and that he's not going to send them after us again. So this is going to be a little bit easier, I hope. But yeah, um, I'm going to head out to my first destination and I'll bring you back uh, once I have found something. All right, I have reached my first destination. It's apparently a cave and it's called Ulysses Point. And yes, it was guarded by a bunch of lobotomites. So let's see what awaits us inside here. Okay, um, seems safe. And it's actually a pretty small place. I mean, someone has obviously been using this as like a shelter build a line of defense here. Okay, let's look around. Um, I see a bunch of crates. Um, don't really need any of that. I can grow this myself and do we have a locked lock. <laughs> and yes, I just leveled up by the way for killing all the lobotomites and I increased my lock picking skill to 80. So I can pick hard locks now without a magazine. Well, I can pick it theoretically if I actually <laughs> manage to finish this stupid little mini game. All right, it's got to be somewhere here. There we go. Um, okay, I mean this is some reasonably useful stuff, and this one is empty. Okay, um, we got more of these cave fungus. Now I could use them to go back to that one place with a still and you know create something <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's just going to give me more battle brew and I don't think I really need that. Um, oh what do we got here? Patient lock and another patient lock. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it's audio files. Okay, um, let's start with 17.5. Don't want to argue philosophy with you. Brotherhood are preservationists. Tech in the wrong hands, it's dangerous. Mojave's proof. No denying that. Proof's here in this crater, all around us. Your tribe, the Brotherhood, haven't met many of you. Wanted to. Thought 
that you might be the last chance for the Mojave, the West, the East. But you're all the same mind. Obsessed. Elijah is obsessed. He's mad. It's why they ordered his execution. Two are more alike than you know. Too wrapped up in the wrong bits of history to see ahead. Not judging. I know how it is. People are like couriers. You and him. Sometimes don't even know the message they bring. You all had a new flag. Thought maybe new ideas along with it. What you believe isn't any better than the bear or bull. No future in either. So says the man with the old world flag on his back. America, the Commonwealth, burned away. America sleeps. And until it's dead, I carry it. Just like I carried you. More than hope. Belief. There's voices here in the big empty. I want to talk to them. Not like your Elijah did. Got questions? Want to hear history give its answer? Okay, well, um, I wonder who that person is. I mean, it's obviously not Elijah, so it's some other person who has been roaming around the big M team. Also, looking at uh, the data, I noticed that I haven't actually tried the Roboscorpion audio sample on my Sonic emitter yet. I gotta do this at some point. But yeah, let's try the second audio lock as well. Didn't think you'd make it back. Almost didn't. Got my answers. You're Elijah. He met the gods in this place. Did a good job of making them question the way of things. Do you know where he went? He's gone to the Sierra Madre. That's a special kind of hell. He won't come back. Someone smarter and tougher is going to kill him. If the Madre doesn't. I have to go after him. Not going to talk you out of it. Know what it means to track someone you share history with. Got a meeting of my own. That courier? Get her to come to me. Got a message for her. Like the message she had for me. Mm. Make them walk the road west, straight and true. Sink their feet in old world ash. Let storms tear at them. See the divide. See what happened. The Divide? There's nothing there. Nothing there. Like the big empty. The Sierra Madre. No. The old world sleeps there. Sure as the flag I carry. The courier knows the way. And at the Divide, her and I, there, we'll have an ending to things. All right. So... They have been talking about a courier again, but this time they specifically mentioned that it's a woman. So maybe this time they're actually talking about me, hmm? Also, um, I'm going to assume that I will learn more about what's going on here in this DLC, because they're talking about the Sierra Madre all the time, and there's apparently one of the DLC that takes place in the Sierra Madre. So I guess um, I will get some answers to these questions later. But okay, um, that was interesting. I have already looked inside this one, right? So let's see what else we can find around here. Radio. Um, I will take the wench for more weapon repair kits. And the rest, I don't really need anything of interest in these boxes. Well, lots of ammo, but as always, not really the kind of ammo that I prefer to use. I guess that's just the bane of my existence here in the Big Empty. They're not really using what I would like to have. Oh boy, but I have enough pins, so I'll be fine. All right, 
And oh, I'll take this as well. And another locked ammunition box with a missile. All right. A silenced 22 pistol. Don't really need that. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I have one back home in the Mojave. All right. Well, um, so I guess that's all there is to this place. Bunch of ammo and some uh, audio logs. All right, um, so I guess I will move on to the next location, and um, I don't know. I guess I will go in this direction. Boomtown target zone. All right, let's do it. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Alright, apparently um, I am very close to my destination and this place is filled with cyber dogs. I already killed a few of them, but apparently there's more. Fighting over. And not only is it filled with cyber dogs, it's also filled with radiation, so maybe um, I should use a Radex before I go in here. Um, yes, Radix is the one that prevents radiation, right? And the red away to fight. removes it. Okay, we have another cyber dog, of course. Um, let's see. Luckily, the lair weapon works just fine on them. Um, I'm still seeing, yep, I'm still seeing an enemy. Sadly, it takes like three shots to kill them. And I usually only have two shots for my vets. Alright. You have been reduced to a pile of ash. Um, it still says caution, but... Not seeing any actual enemy at the moment. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's have a quick look around here and see if we can find anything of interest. Don't want to stay too long because of radiation. Vacuum cleaner. I mean, apparently the test site was basically like a fake village where they dropped off bombs. And that's why this place is filled with radiation. Oh, don't don't step into the radioactive goo. That could be a problem. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's. Oh, what do we got here? Nuka Cola Quartz and Nuka Cola Victory. <laughs> I'm still not sure. That is really so valuable, but I'll take it. Um, oh, is this building over here part of this facility as well? I guess I will check out. Oh, hang on a second. I think I can see an enemy. Can't I already shoot you? Yes, I can. I even have a pretty good chance. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's much of interest in this place. It's pretty much all destroyed. And all the loot is just, you know, random loot that you can find anywhere else. I mean, if you think that I've missed anything important in any of these places that I've visited, Feel free to leave a comment and I will revisit it later. But at the moment I'm not really seeing anything. Um, but yeah, let's try to go up here and maybe that is of greater interest.
All right. Um, oh, this is already X8. So basically we're just going back to... Yeah, I, I remember this now. Okay, so apparently the bomb site is really just a bomb site. But I mean, I gotta go back to X8 anyway. So I guess that's what we're going to do next. I haven't actually been like behind it. Is there anything of interest? Well, who knows? There might be. Um, nope. I mean, it's not bad, but whenever I see a locker, I hope for medium armor. <laughs> and I'm always disappointed if that's not what it is. Um, and none of this stuff is all that great. All right. So I guess uh, we're going back inside and hopefully finish that one quest that has been open for a long time. Yeah, this bomb obviously landed a little bit too close to your own place. Okay, here we are and Roxy's still waiting. Well, I, I think you can just wait here. I don't think I'm going to need your help for this. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the quest again. X8 data retrieval test. Release the unusual specimen into the testing area. Right. Um, and for that I have to go into the kennel. I think I remember how to get to the kennel. It's a little bit... Um, longer to get there, but it should be through here. And I hope that these enemies haven't respawned. No, it doesn't look like it. Yep, there we go, kennel. So, I should be able to open this now. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> right, the unusual specimens were Night Stalkers. Now I remember. Um, but okay, I, I seem to be safe up here. As a matter of fact, this might uh, be a good place to just shoot them from up here. I don't know, does the lair weapon work well on them? Oh yeah, works well enough. I mean, so do hollow point ammo, but I don't have a whole lot of that, so I'm just going to use this weapon. Oh, it's another combat armor. I will take it. Not sure if I actually need to repair my armor just now. It actually might still be in decent condition. Let's have a quick look at it. Um, yeah, yep, it's still good. And I haven't actually taken the other armor with me because I wanted to have more free inventory space. And apparently that was a good decision. And yes, it has increased my carrying capacity because I have more strength now, right? That's pretty good. Anyway, can I, like, go down here maybe? Ooh. Take Robot and Night Stalker Splicing Experiment Holotape. Okay, but first let's uh, deal with the Night Stalkers that are running around here. just running back and forth the entire time. Well, I probably won't be able to hit it from here. I have to hit it when it's up here because then I have a clear shot. Alright, um, looks like 
that's all. So, what exactly did I find here? Robot and Night Stalker Splicing Experiment. Okay, let's listen to it. Oh, it's actually not an audio log. This holotape contains robot and night stalker splicing data and can be used at the X8 biomechanical splicing terminal. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I hate uh, the night stalkers and I'm not sure if I want to make them even more powerful. But okay, I guess I'll take it. Um, yeah, now let's uh, go down here, I suppose. Um, I will take all of this. Yep, there we go. Dead Night Stalkers. Take schematic. Oh, it's another schematic for the K9000 that I never really used. And a kennel terminal. Okay, here's where I release the unusual specimen. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I have read those already. At least it seems, it seems familiar. Skippy, the sole survivor. Yes, I have, I have read it already. Okay, so where exactly am I going to release the unusual specimen to? Because I don't want to release more Night Stalkers into this place. But okay, I guess I'll do it. Releasing specimen. Um, activate institutional data retrieval test basic at the X8 test terminal. What? Again? I've I've already done that test. I have to do it again? Really? Oh boy, Dr. Boris, I hate you. I hate you for your weird testing facility here. <laughs> um, anyway, let's look around a little bit and see what we can find. There's nothing over here. Oh, there's another door here. I guess I could have used this one too. Because I think this actually leads back to the main room. Yep, yep. I guess I could have used this one. But then again, um, this one was right on the same level as the Night Stalkers. And they could have attacked me. Um, so, now I just have to do the test again. Um, alright. Yeah, I guess I have to do the same test all over again. Probably twice. The basic test, then the advanced test. Um, yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to cut this part, because you've seen me doing this test twice already, and I think the only difference now is that I'm fighting Night Stalkers instead of um, Cyber Dogs, but the lair weapon works pretty well on them, so this shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm going to do the test and, if necessary, the advanced test again, and I will bring you back once I'm done with that. Yeah, it looks basically like the same kind of uh, problem. All right. I will uh, go ahead with that, and I'll bring you back. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. All right, I am back, and I have finished the test twice, actually, because, uh, as I suspected, after doing the basic test, I also had to redo the advanced test, and it was pretty much the same as before, except you had Night Stalkers instead of Cyber Dogs. Now, to be fair, the terminals with the student records were actually in different places this time. So I guess there was a small difference, even though the student records themselves were the same and the layout of the place was the same. So it wasn't a big difference. As a matter of fact, I thought it was easier this time because I had better equipment. Um, although you can see, it took quite a toll on my layer weapon, which is almost completely broken. But that's okay, I have another one, and I have yet another one back home at the sink. So I guess um, I will change this. But I guess I have to input my data now into the terminal, 
and then we will see if this is all I have to do for this quest or if there's even more tests I have to do after this. So yeah, let's do it. Right, unusual specimen test results. I guess this is what I have to do. Alright, that did something. Okay, here we go. Finally, that quest is finished. The an agent perk granted. Your study of the abominations created at the big empty has granted you a damage bonus plus 10% against night stalkers. Well, I guess it's still useful because I still have to go to some places of the map where you have a lot of night stalkers. So um, it's not entirely useless. So I will take it. But yeah, um, before I move on, I definitely have to change my weapon. Um, I guess I'm going to switch to the normal layer for now. And um, maybe I will repair the other one with some repair kits once I'm back at the sink. Um, okay, but before I leave this place, um, I guess I will tempt fate and try that new splicing holotape that I found um, that lets you splice a Night Stalker with a robot. Because what could possibly go wrong? Um, should make sure I'm armed. Oh, um, apparently I have not properly bound this weapon to the key that I want it bound to. Alright. Okay, now it works. So I'm armed now just in case um, the abomination I'm about to create is going to be hostile. Um, yes, splice, robot and unusual specimen. Let's do it. Oh no, she put her gun away. That's no good. You're doing it with a Mr. Gutsy. Why Mr. Gutsy? Build a robot bent on destruction. Yes, I, I was kind of worried that this was going to happen. Although I'm not sure what it's firing at. Oh, well. <laughs> it may just have self-destructed. Huh, okay. That was rather short-lived. But it's interesting that a, a Night Stalker plus Mr. Gutsy uh, creates something like this. Anyway, I guess we should um, count this as a failure. This didn't really do anything. <laughs> but okay, um, I guess that's really all I want to do in this place. Um, I have already used this over here. Yes, I have. Right. Um, which means I will just move on now. And yes, I can't can't take Roxy along. But apparently she's going to leave at some point on her own anyway. So, let's leave. Time to fight. Oh no, oh no. Ah, we have robot scorpions again. And I thought that maybe they would be gone now. That... Uh, Mobius is no longer hostile. Um, all right. This is unfortunate. Uh, let me get away a little bit here. Um, all right. Come on. They're almost destroyed, both of them. Does that feel better? <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't expect there to be more Robo-Scorpions. As a matter of fact, there's another one. Seriously, Dr. Mobius, is this really necessary? I thought we were on good terms now. This will keep you. Apparently I'm wrong. Or maybe he just doesn't know how to deactivate them. I wouldn't put it past him that he just sent out his Robo-Scorpions. And now he doesn't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
I guess I have to uh, worry about respawning robo scorpions after all. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the map. Um, I guess the next spot would be the big empty east tunnel over here. So I'm going to move over there and, as always, I will bring you back once I have arrived. Alright, um, after killing a bunch more Night Stalkers and Lobotomites, I have arrived at the tunnel, but it doesn't look like I can actually enter the tunnel. Nope. No way We haven't seen here. anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. And we already got the perimeter over here, so I can't go any further in this direction. So yeah, I'm not sure if there's really anything for me to do here. I mean, let's investigate this literal train wreck. Maybe we can find something of interest. I can't like go inside here. Can I? Nope. Got some empty bottles and cans. And again, this doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Right? I mean, there's like <laughs> this wheel over here, but I don't think I can actually go up here and use it. Um, can't use this one either. So, yeah, I guess um, there isn't really anything for me to do here. So I will just move on to the next destination, um, which would be the Hazmat testing ground, I suppose. So yeah, let's go. All right, it looks like this over here is the Hazmat testing ground. There isn't much left and I can see like nuclear fumes rising. So, this might be rather dangerous, even though I'm not seeing any enemies at the moment. But, of course, there's radiation. So again, just as a precaution, let's take a Red X, since I don't have any actual hazmat suit, <laughs> which is a pity. And I didn't bring my space suit with me, which is the one that I've used back in the Mojave to protect me against radiation. Ooh! What is that over there? Huh, gotta check that out. Um, well... Buff out. But yeah, I'm trying not to stay too long in this place because of the radiation. Um... Okay, I think... There's safe way down here. Alright, who are you? Hazmat suit containment unit. Um, do I have to like remove the force fields? Yes, I do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I have a hazmat suit. Alright. I guess I'll take it. Night vision. Hmm. That's interesting. And a hazmat suit. Which has poison resistance. Not radiation resistance. Okay. Well, I guess it's not a radiation suit. It's a hazmat suit against, like, dangerous materials and, you know, maybe virus stuff. <laughs> but not against radiation. That's something different. Um... I still have some inventory space left, but once that is filled up, I will make a quick detour back to the sink to leave some stuff behind. But yeah, it doesn't look like uh, there's anything else going on here. I mean, 
can't go through these pipes. So we're just going to move on again. Um, let's have a look. Um, well, it's starting to look pretty good on this side. Oh, hang on a second. There is one more location over here. Waste disintegration platform. All right. I might have enough time to go there today, so let's move on. Okay, it looks like this over here is a platform. And yes, we do have enemies somewhere. Who is firing at me? I mean... I see an enemy... Oh, I see. Okay. I guess this is the one that kept shooting at me. Let's deal with her. There we go. And yeah, apparently my armor is starting to wear down. Complete. So I guess now is the time where I will repair it using the armor that I found recently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one is at full condition. But I guess I kind of have to repair this one now, so let's do it. And there we go. Got great new armor again. Oh, I can see a lobotomite over here. I'm probably not going to hit her. Oh, well, actually. Fight. At least one, one of the shots hit her. Let's try this again. And disintegrated. Speaking of a disintegration, it looks like this is Bad guys dealt with. another giant roboscorpion, right? Kind of looks like parts of a roboscorpion. So uh -oh. I guess the one that we fought wasn't the first one that he tried to build. I don't know, maybe this Fighting is supposed over. to be something different. Who knows? Who knows what kind of stuff Dr. Mobius and everyone else has been inventing here. Time to fight. All right, I can see enemies on my radar. They are probably somewhere down here. Bad guys dealt with. Uh, I wish I could could see where they are. But okay, um, as long looks pretty tough. as they're not actually attacking me, I guess I will check out this place. Okay, there's one over there, but he's pretty far away. I'm going to ignore him. Um, okay, what do we got here? Bunch of scrap electronics. Again, this doesn't look all that impressive or interesting. Is there anything I can do here? Can I, like, disintegrate some waste? Bad guys dealt with. <laughs> um... Well... Oh, I see. There's more of these... Sneaking done. Fighting uh, now. Robotrons. But again, as long as they are far away, I'm going to ignore them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bad guys dealt with. I wish, I wish she would just stop talking. There's no bad guys in the vicinity. It doesn't look Ready? like Steady. there's anything I can Fighting. do here. So I think what I will do is I will end the episode here. I think I have enough for one episode once I cut out all of the bad guys dealt with. <laughs> walking and uh, fighting enemies. And um, we still have a few places to go to. I mean... This part of the map is pretty much done. We got another research center over here, the meteorological station. I do want to go back to the internment camp. And then we have a few more research facilities down here. 
So yeah, I guess it's going to be at least one more episode, maybe two, and then I guess I will be done with this place. And I may actually go back to the think tank in between just to clean out my inventory. So yeah, let's just uh, make Sneaking a cut down. here. Fighting now. And I guess I will just seek out these enemies because um, I must be like on the verge of their uh, proximity radar or whatever. And that's why that's my... All. My suit keeps warning me. But for now, let's just call it a day. As usual, thank you for watching. And see you again Sneaking next time. Done. Fighting now.